If it's an amphetamine, an opioid or a benzo, it will show up in that top screen. Let's not think about that now, eh? You need to stop working yourself up. Rest. Yeah, but you believe me, right? About Pioneer. I want to believe you. <sighs> Look, she drugged me. I know that she's a doctor and it sounds crazy, but it's what she is. Crazy? Yes. This is a huge accusation. I know. So why would I make it up if I wasn't 100% sure? Have you got someone coming around to look after you tonight? I just want to sleep. Still, if you don't know what's wrong, you should have someone close you by. Well, Boyd's next door. If I feel woozy, I can call him. And you're there too. But you want nothing more to do with me. I guess that's my invite to Rachel's party revoked. If you feel up to it, I still want you there with me. Look, by now, word's spread about our shonky practices. We're in damage control mode. We need to present a professional front. Should you be working today? I feel fine. What's wrong? I just spoke to Dr. Lawson. My tox screen came back. No drugs were found in my system. OK. I have no proof. Pioneer's going to get away with it again, and there is nothing that I can do. Listen. <laughs> Just because nothing appeared on the tox screen, it doesn't mean you weren't drugged. It just means we didn't know what to test for. So you believe me that Pioneer drugged me? I believe you were drugged. But regardless of whether or not it was Pioneer, you're clearly quite affected by how she's treating you. And do you think I'm going to let my blondie feel victimised? No way in hell. Oh, excuse me, Rachel. Sorry, wait, I know this one. Leanne? Very funny. Can I help you, Doctor? I'm just spreading the joy. Well, go and spread it somewhere else. Thank oh. you. Will we be seeing you at the cocktail party later? No. As an underling, I'm not invited. But I'm sure you'll have a fabulous time with all the beautiful people. You should gate crash. No, I'm looking forward to a relaxed night in. Yes? For Leanne Miller? Oh. Oh, that's me. Oh, thank you. Well, no prizes for guessing who we're there from. Oh. I'm an international man of mystery, Mr. Black. Oh, and the divine. Now, you don't have to tell me what's in that X-rated note, but... Well, for your information, Howard's invited me to be his plus one at the party tonight. You go, Cinders. Ah, oh, that's tomorrow morning taken care of. Who's next? Uh, Pamela. Ah, yes, poor old Pamela. She's not so old. Well, she's not so poor either, or she wouldn't be coming to see us. But is she happy? Not if she's desperate for liposuction, no. She's gonna hate me. Why? Well, she's overweight. But with her BMI, liposuction isn't gonna do what she wants it to do. What are you gonna do? Turn her away? It's the right thing to do. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to put her in touch with a good nutritionist and tell her to come back in six months. So you do have some scruples after all. Shh. I've got an image to maintain. Hey, Monday's looking rather full. Is there anyone that we can switch over to Wednesday and still give you your full eight hours on the golf course? Cheek. You've picked up. I'm feeling a whole lot better. I'm not going to let myself be dragged down by that woman. Who else have you told about Pania's evil doings? Don't mock. I'm not, really. Tell me. Uh, Clementine? Oh, and Wendy, but I don't think she believed me. But Clementine did. Yeah, well, she hates Pioneer too. I know this is out there, and you're struggling, yeah? A little bit. I'm getting there. I do wish there was something I could do, sort Pioneer out. And say what? Back off, Pioneer, you fiend, and leave Kylie alone. She would just laugh in your face. Or she'll be all hurt that you think badly of her. She was actually practicing her poor me act this morning. She'll have it down pack by the time TK gets back. Look, I know that I sound crazy and obsessed. But that's exactly how I will sound to TK if I try telling what Pani has been up to. And she knows it. This party tonight, will she be there? Actually, you know what? Who cares? What time are you picking me up? 6.30. Great. I'm going to go home right now, have a shower, and put on something amazing. See ya. Bye.
Yeah. Howard, you've met Drew, of course, but have you met Kylie, one of our very best nurses? Hello. Pleased to meet you. And who's this glamorous creature? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> I am a very lucky man. Excuse us. So am I, by the way. You look radiant. Oh, you. <laughs> Every time I look at you two, I wonder why are you here? Why aren't you walking the red carpet at some Hollywood oh. premiere? <laughs> you make the rest of us look shabby. Oh, as if. <laughs> well, Drew's our new poster boy, isn't he? Literally, if I have my way, there'll be banners on the main street, ads everywhere. <laughs> well, I'm up for it. How about you? <laughs> Me? Of course you. What's Kim without Barbie? Oh, not quite what I had in mind. Oh. Why not? Plastic surgery, plastic people. Excuse me? Well, don't take it personally, but let's be honest. It's all about looks in your department, isn't it? Looks and money and looks. Get her out of here. What would you know? If you stopped looking down your nose and spent five minutes talking to the man, you might realise how decent he is. If you saw him with his patients, you'd know how good he is. Well, he fleeces them for every dollar he can get oh, out of you them. haven't got a clue. Just leave her. She's drunk. Come on, I'll drive you home, mate. Please. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So am I. Heard worse. Mostly from ex-girlfriends. <laughs> Howard, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, too. What for? You're for jumping in boots and all. I'll, I'll let you fight your own battles in future. Oh, do you have to? What are you doing? I'm calling a cab. Don't be silly. I'll drive you. Oh, well, I thought you might like to stay around. Most of the money men are still here. Oh, I've done like that. I'm all schmoozed out. Let's go. If you're sure. Very. Oh, you guys off? Mm -hmm. Thank you for a very entertaining evening. Yeah, thank you. It was great. It had its moments. I really don't know what's good into Victoria. Alcohol. Thank you for being so understanding. It was nothing. Night. Night. See ya. I don't think... You know, when I was a little girl, I always wished that I could go to a girls-only private school instead of poxy old Geraldine High. I think it was all those schoolgirl annuals my grandmother handed down to me, you know, girl-solving <sighs> mysteries, that sort of thing. I've actually got a lot to answer for. Anyway, now I realise how lucky I was. Had I gone to a private school, I might have ended up like Victoria. You could have been best friends forever. That is a parallel universe <laughs> I do not want to think about. <laughs> uh. I should go. Thank you again for tonight. Yeah, it was fun. It really was. Sorry to kick you out, but I'm, I'm <clears> through my feet. I will see you in the morning. Morning? It is the morning. Go on. <laughs> Good night. Night. TK, hi. What's going on? Who the hell are you? TK Samuels, uh, Drew McCaskill. Pleased to meet you, TK. How did you Hello, sweetheart. Run upstairs. I'll come see you in a minute, OK? Drew's head of plastic surgery at the hospital. I work there now. What's he doing here? He's our new neighbour. He just dropped me off after the party that Rachel held for investors. Sober driver. Well, he's done his job. He can go now. I enjoyed your company. Good night. Hey, welcome back. Cute. Hey, uh, is Boyd around? Yeah, I think so. You miss him, huh? Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm sure he missed you too. Did he say anything to you? About... Uh, well, I guess there's no harm in mentioning it. Uh, I proposed to him. Oh, wow. Mm. No, he didn't mention. Congratulations. Actually, technically, I'm still waiting for him to accept. Oh, you proposed when you were in Wellington? Just before I left. Right. Technically, he's still married to Brooke, so there are a few issues there to work through. And... Yeah, yeah, of course. So you'll be putting a no visitor sign on the apartment door tonight? Oh, yeah, it could be romance. <laughs> Wherever he is, he's a lucky man. Hi. Jim McCaskill. I've been at the pleasure. This is Harper Whitley. She's 2IC and ED consultant. I, I heard all about you. And I haven't heard enough about you. Mm. Harper. Your Brad's partner, is that right? Uh, Boyd Rolleston. Yay, hi. Serious looking guy. Doesn't smile much. Uh, no, he's got an excellent sense of humour. And excellent taste in women. I'll be sure to say that to Brad when I see him next. Uh, Boyd. <laughs> His name's Boyd. He's a dick. Oh, he's a something, all I, right. I saw him talking to Maria in the lift earlier. The cleaner, she's like over 60 and he's flirting up a storm with her. Really? Yep, he will flirt with anyone, that boy. 
You're back. I missed you. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm working on a new biocompatible polymer. Yeah, well, this lab is awesome. And this must be the new updated 3D printer. Yes, it's uh, much more portable. Hmm. Hey, how was Wellington? How was the management course? Uh, Wellington was great. The course was boring as. <laughs> so, there is a small question waiting for a big answer. Will you marry me? You know I can't. Not yet. I can't divorce Brock for another year. Yes, I know that. But do you want to marry me? Are you sure it's what you want? It's a bit retro, isn't it? Marriage and Mrs. Harper Rolleston. No, I like it. <laughs> Still, I rushed into things with Broken. I don't want to be rushed again. No, I'm not rushing you. I'm just asking you if you want to get married. How about you at least meet my mother first? Sure. You know, she texted to say that she was passing through today, so she had a chance to meet. Great. Great is not the first word I'd use to describe meeting my mother. <laughs> How would you describe it? Kind of like meeting royalty. You don't really know what's going on. <laughs> Ivy. Everything reflects the Shortland Street brand. Trust me, I'm paying some guys a ton to get this stuff right. Speaking of which, I need a budget to work off. How much should you have in mind? Those are the projected costs for a three-month campaign. You're kidding. You get what you pay for. Have you watched many of my videos? No. Why would I do that? To get to know me better? I'm guessing you're a what you see is what you get kind of guy. Back to the numbers. This is too much. It is promoting Shortland Street's surgical tourism program less than it promotes Drew McCaskill. He is the smiling face of the program. He has to have some representation. A dozen videos in staged airbrush locations with equally staged models. So you did watch them? Yeah, one for about 10 seconds. Excellent. I'd appreciate feedback if you've got time for coffee later. Bottom line here is we need to spend to make money. That estimate should get us reached through the whole Asia-Pacific region. There is no way that we can justify this amount. There wouldn't be if we didn't know the projected revenue. Let's do it. What? But keep a tight rein on it. We're still a public hospital and I have to justify this to the tightwads on the board. No problem. It was an ambit claim. I can do it for about two thirds of that figure. Then I'll approve you one third maximum. Good negotiating with you, Ms McKenna. Get a chance to watch any more of my videos? <laughs> Why would I want to put myself through that? Well, the one on rhinoplasty was shot on location up the coast. I'll get my shirt off. Please, I'm about to have dinner. Don't take this the wrong way, but I could easily fix those lines. What lines? Well, you've got fantastic eyes. But as you age, those laugh lines will become crow's feet. Have you ever thought about trying Botox on yourself? A big dose straight to the chest might cure that still beating heart of yours. Beaten a lot faster since I got on this lift with you, that's for sure. Feel my pulse. Anywhere you like. Oh. Hey, Brad. What a jerk. You were so right about him. Yeah, hey, look. I mean, what a waste of space and hospital resources making room for him. Him and his so-called clients, tragic women, lining up to have him suck fat out or shove it in somewhere else. Well, to be fair, not all his clients are no, tragic. I know who his clients are. Rich old white women, more money than brains, never worked a day in their life, sponging off inherited wealth. Wait a minute. On that note, meet my mother. His rich old white mother sponging off inherited wealth. 